Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Content Craft, and I've been grinding serious. Um, last episode we uh, built this thing, and it's doing a treat. Um, lots and lots of sugar cane, and this is after I got enough books to build a full library. So I mean, it's not that bad. Then I also did a little garbage cow farm in my basement to get some leather my sh cactus farm isn't doing so good but I just uh come over here use the trap door to get down feed them all some stuff and there's a dispenser in the back if I push this button water comes out and I push it again the water goes away and that pushes all the items to the front so I don't have to use as many hoppers and apparently I had some torches in there but yeah, so I can kill the cows from here and all the stuff goes there. And it's let me eat steak for the most part. My wheat farm is doing the treat. And I think that's the other thing I did off camera. I've been kind of busy this week and I haven't been able to record as much. So I did this off camera. Nice little wheat farm. It's seven by four, seven wide, 14 long. And it only has to have this one block in the middle for extra water. All the water on the sides and that keeps it going. It has uh, these trap doors that release water. And I have the bees in here and they're not necessarily doing much good in terms of the farm. Because they just fly wherever they want to fly. They mostly come out there and then they go in the back. So their little pollination does not help my plants too much. If I put glass all over this edge or whatever to trap them in, it'd probably do better. But then they get stuck. So it's not the best design farm. But I just flipped this lever. I'll push this button and that harvests all the honey. I mean, again, that could be automated with comparators, but whatever. And then all the honey bottles or empty bottles, if there was no honey in it, gets shot out there. And then when I flush the farm, all the bottles get pushed in there anyway. And we get honey and wheat and all that stuff. And it holds, uh, obviously, with the 90... Um, with the 7x14 and the one in the middle, it holds 97 plots of land for farming. And it's, I gotta manually do it. Obviously, it's not the best. I would like to get a villager in here, but I just haven't got around to messing with villagers. It's not a high priority for me. Um, the only way in and out is this slab, so you just have to have the shift click to get in and out. It keeps mobs out, it lets bees come in and out for the most part. And if I had a villager in here, he would be trapped in here too. Um, a baby zombie could get in though, so that's not 100% safe. But yeah, if I got a villager, I would just put a uh, a farming barrel composter thing right there in the middle and it'd be good. Um, I don't think you need a bed technically for farmers to work. And then I just have this composter with a hopper above it. I'll just dump that in there. Um, to take care of the seeds and making the bone meal if I need it. I mostly use it to breed flowers and then use those to breed bees. Because bees seem to have a poor life expectancy. But the main goal of today is... Uh, castle. I've been gathering tons upon tons of nether, smelting it up. And uh, making nether bricks and crack nether bricks. And we're hopefully going to make a decent building. Because currently I'm just living in a hole in the ground with sort of a protrusion my my plan is nether brick castle just because it's a resource i have a lot of and it's just sort of a starter build you know sort of like the wood houses i mean the person's tree build is getting pretty impressive and somebody has like a decent house over there so i'm gonna try mostly nether brick uh maybe some cobblestone or i'm not sure what else i don't exactly have a build in mind but it's going to be up here it's going to cover this up i'm probably going to have it be on top of the hill Covering up my farm there, leading down, and hopefully having like a dock area. And uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, I was looking all over. I was looking for my valuables chest. I was looking in my redstone chest. For whatever reason, I put them in my uh, random assortment garbage chest. I dump things in as I come in and out. But I have netherite scrap. Because I was getting all this nether brick. And I thought, well, I may as well farm at Y15. In the nether and I got 17 netherite ores um, so we need to make these into uh, bricks so we just 
There we go, another red ingots. Only four, wow. But yeah, I was not expecting those. By the way, I mined so many blocks with just I'm breaking one pickaxes and stuff. Until I got efficiency two nip pickaxe. Oh my god, but the effect of being able to instant my netherrack is so so impressive. So we have netherite. Now the issue we have is we don't have mending. So that's an issue. Anything we put it on will probably break eventually. But we got tons of it. So I'm probably going to put it on a pickaxe here. Um, I could even use the grindstone to remove enchantments and put new ones on once I get decent XP farm to get to level 30 and actually put the good stuff on. Because this one's already been combined several times. But let's just do this. Why not? I mean, I would like to save it for something more impressive, but I mean, what can you do? I mean, I also got my garbage helmet. I don't have any diamond anything else. Probably get a diamond shovel, but to be honest, I'm not too worried about it. Let's upgrade my axe. Honestly, if you don't have mending, it's just, I mean, it's like 500 durability. That's about all you get out of it. It's a pretty good sword for just one enchantment. So we'll just put these back in a random chest because I'm running out of room. Yeah, why not? And go back to uh, time lapse time. So punch it. Well, guys, this will be the part where I play some catchy music and show you an awesome replay. But uh, as you can see, none of the blocks rendered for some reason. And it's not just the output render. It's the actual save file of the replay mod. So I, I looked online. It didn't seem like anybody ever mentioned having the same problem that I saw in any of the web results. So hopefully the next time I do it doesn't mess up. I've done another one in 116.2 and it rendered fine. So eh. But... Yeah, this is uh, the world with no blocks, just entities. And you can see how many mobs are beneath me in the ground. It's funny. But yeah, I just want to leave this up. 42 minutes compressed to like 42 seconds. Hey guys, just a guy here. Um, Yeah, so we got started. It's a lot of nether brick. I plan to vary it up a little bit with cracked nether brick and maybe some blackstone here and there. We'll see how it goes, um, but I just want to get as much of it down as sort of out as possible. Basically, I'm going to go a little beyond my base on this side, and then I'm going to go a little beyond the sugarcane farm on this side. Uh, we did the little pier type thing with the docks. We have these nice little stair slabs to get in and out of the water really easily. Um, I want these torches to be something else, maybe lanterns or blue lanterns. We'll see how it goes. I just don't have the resources. Which is the main reason why this is almost all netherrack right now. Is it's the resource I have the most of. I need to do a ton of terraforming. I want to take out most of this mountain. I just put basically the perimeter wall around. At least too high all around to keep out mobs for the most part. And then right here I kind of wanted a water elevator. So I was making a little chamber to get up there so I get to the higher levels. And I started to work on deconstructing this. And see if I could put it back up with netherrack. But I didn't want to. I ran out of netherrack walls at the time. But yeah, guys, it's it's a start. Um, I'm short. I'm down to like two and a half stacks of netherrack, and I have a lot of terraforming to do on the top of that hill. So probably call this an episode. Um, but this is just a guy signing off. Catch you guys later.